Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are not going to talk anything related to the state of automation testing or the automation testing tools that we always discuss. In this video, we're going to talk about the state of our motherly planet Earth. You might have seen most of my videos where I start with a slide telling how the global warming is really affecting the climate changes and all those stuff. And also we talked about how we can protect our motherly planet Earth by saving the tree, water and energy. But I don't really have any series just talking about the whole topic in a holistic manner, rather like a couple of slides in the initial start. So in this video and maybe some of the following videos, I'm going to talk exclusively on the climate changes. And this video, we are going to talk about the climate emergency declaration and why. I didn't even know about this climate emergency declaration until New Zealand did like last week. And it was an eye opener for me, like absolute eye opener for me while I read about what is this climate emergency declaration and why governments are trying to do it right now. Because it's already too late. We're already in a brink of a big disaster. The pandemic that we're talking about, the coronavirus, it's not a big thing at all. If we compare it with this particular global warming, it is really, really massive. And as that said, please give me your at least five minutes of your time before you skip this video or stop this video because it is nothing related to automation testing. Just five minutes of your time because in the first five minutes I will talk about what is this climate emergency declaration and why we really need to do that. And following that we'll be talking about the impacts of the emergency declarations if we don't do it and what are the impacts on the uh, planet Earth if we actually don't really act right now. So the first five minutes of your time starts now. So the climate emergency declaration is an action taken by governments and scientists to acknowledge humanity is in a climate emergency. This statement is pretty straightforward. I don't even have to explain that. And if we talk about the history of this climate emergency declaration, the first declaration was made on December 2016 just four years before. And now over 33 countries have made climate emergency declaration and New Zealand being the 33rd country to actually acknowledge this. And what is this climate emergency declaration? In declaration, a climate emergency, a government admits that the climate change or global warming exists and that measure taken up to this point are not enough to limit the change brought by it. The decision stresses the need for the government and administration to devise measures that try and stop human caused global warming. I will talk about what this declaration means to New Zealand government while they declared it and what they're going to do it in 2025 in following slides. But this is the history and this is what is the climate emergency declaration. And also I dig around the facts of why we really require this climate emergency declaration right now. The climate change is real and human activities are the main cause of this problem. The concentration of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere is directly linked to the average global temperature on Earth. The concentration has been rising steadily and mean the global temperature along with it since the time of industrial revolution. The most abundant greenhouse gas accounting for about two thirds of the greenhouse gases carbon dioxide is largely the product of burning fossil fuels and we use this a lot for most of our cases as we all know and the source link of this particular topic is already available on the slide i've taken that from the unenvironment.org and i really like this particular quote at this particular point of time this is perfectly suiting for everybody at this particular point of time because the time that we are living right now is already too late to protect our motherly planet earth so what is NC declared as I was talking about a couple of slides before? New Zealand has declared a climate change emergency and committed to a carbon neutral government by 2025. In what the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern called one of the greatest challenges of our time, which is real. Because if we don't take this action right now, it is very, very challenging for any government or any person on the planet to protect this planet Earth because already a lot of disasters are happening, a lot of forest fires are happening. People in Australia and US are really, really witnessing it in recent past and they know about the problems that they have faced so long. And yes, this is going to be happening too frequently. This is going to happen a lot than compared to any point of time in our human history. 
So what does this 1.5 degree centigrade means in warming world and what are the impacts? So after this slide, maybe you can skip this particular video, but please stick around until the next slide. The impacts. The impacts of a 1.1 degree increase are here today in an increased frequency and magnitude of extreme weather events from heat waves, droughts, flooding, winters, storms, hurricanes, and wildfire. These are all things that we are witnessing every time right now. UK people last year have faced a heavy summer which they have never been realized so far and they were going all the shops to find for a fans and air conditions which they have never. And Australia was in a huge fire last year where you might have heard about that like billions of species just vanished because of the particular fire and this year in California there was a bigger fire as well. So every year the forest fires are increasing and Fortunately, India has got rain because of the El Nino was just lifted, but doesn't mean that India is going to get rain, at, at least the South India is going to get rain this time, like this time, in all the times. So 2019 concluded a decade of exceptional global heat, retreating ice and record sea level driven by greenhouse gas produced by human activities. An average temperature for 5 years from 2015 to 2019 and 10 years from 2010 to 2019 period are the highest on the record. And 2019 was the second hottest year on record and you can see that this is really really huge that we have never ever seen this kind of temperature. So the impacts of having all these problems are going to look something like this. There will be a extreme temperature like cold and warm and droughts, water availability, extreme rains, impacts on biodiversity and ecosystems and on the sea levels. And on the ocean level, we can see that the impact will be on the sea level rise, polar ice sheet melting, ocean temperature, acidity increasing, oxygen level decreasing, and marine ecosystem will be completely in an endangered position. So you can probably skip this particular video from this particular point of time, but if you're really still interested, you might be seeing some of the cool things that we are going to be seeing in the next few slides. But yes, this is the this is the state, guys. And while I was reading about these topics, I was less like, what is happening at the moment? I mean, we have been talking about technologies and we have been talking about the human evolutions and revolutions that we are making in technology, but we have never really given a thought about our planet Earth and the future generations that is going to be affected because of our mistakes that we have made. We can see that after the industrial revolution, there has been a 1.1 degree increase and there is a chance that this particular temperature is going to increase in the next 5 years to 1.5 degrees centigrade, next 5 to 10 years, maybe, I'm, I will be wrong, maybe. But they are predicting that if the increase of temperature is going to be from 1.1, the current state, to 1.5, 1.5 degrees centigrade, then there will be like almost 50 percentage of the species, like insects, will be died and the ice sheet which is melting at this particular point of time is going to be melting pretty soon and at the same time there will be a lot of crisis like drought and heavy winters and heavy warm climates and many countries are going to be in a very very bad state and you will be seeing that a lot of people will be migrating from different countries to other countries because of the resources that they have and if the degree increases from 1.5 to 2 degrees centigrade then there will be 99 percentage of the insects dying and there will be no pollinations and there will be no food available like what we have or enjoying at the moment like a privilege everything will be gone and you might be seeing that the whole world will be in a complete disaster state because it won't be evident very quickly like coronavirus but it will be very evident maybe like five to ten years that our generations will be starving of what are the privilege that we are enjoying as a kings right now. So let's quickly see about some of the impacts in terms of the water availabilities and stuff. I mean these are some eye-opening things that I saw while I was just reading about this uh, emergency declaration. So the water availability as you can see that from 2005 it just keep depleting and the fresh water is just just going away and I mean you can see in India that it's just all giving like a red color in 2016 which means there is actually no fresh water on that particular land and many other countries are actually getting fresh waters which is increasing the level which is also not good because which means they are actually going down in or maybe sinking on that particular level 
and the sea level is also increasing and you can see from 2003 to the current state i think it is until like 2016 or something like that where it says that the sea level rise will significantly impact the areas all around the world to varying degrees and many coastal areas are now declared even in new zealand that many of the coastal areas will not be covered maybe in 15 years will not be covered with a regular insurance cover which is covered right now because they will be considered as the low lying lands and the water will maybe get into their houses and they will not be covered by the insurance as well so these are some of things which can happen if we don't take the action right now and the sea level is really really rising we don't we cannot really see that particular level because it's a huge thing but if it happens then it's a disaster and it's happening at the moment and you can see that the sea ice disappearing once every century in 1. Uh, in 1.5 degrees centigrade whereas as i told in if it increases to like 2 degrees centigrade then it's going to happen in every decade which is like every 10 years so which is going to be a massive as well because there will be a lot of water pumping in to the our oceans and we will have a lot of low lying lands which will be sinking and many of our species and especially human beings will be like an endangered species as well and marine ecosystems we all know that these uh, coral reefs are bleached right now the bleaching is happening because of the temperature change in the oceans it's getting warmer and these bleach means the coral reefs are dying and these are the main source of oxygen for the fishes and all the coral lives around it and this is really really important so we need to maintain that and if they die probably many marine species will die and if they die then humans who are relying especially on the on the fish product or the marine product will also start starving and they will go for an alternative food product which is also in drought and you can see that the whole food life cycle or the balance of the ecosystem will also get disastered or affected and finally as i told you the human beings who are the main creator or the culprit of all these things will have problems as well if the temperature rises from 1.5 degree centigrade or from 1.1 to 1.5 degree centigrade there will be an effect in their health livelihood food security human security water supply and economic growth heat related illness vector borne diseases which is happening like diarrhea and stuff so these are the impact for the human beings as well so these are some of the things which are going to happen if we don't really act right now i mean we can talk about how we can act on reducing all those things in our level which we can probably talk like in a different video but yes this is what is really happening at the moment on the climate changes on and the climate emergency declaration is done especially considering all these matter of facts and governments are really taking it too serious to make these things happen so 1.5 degrees centigrade is possible and climate action is unstoppable so this is something like the whole united nation on the climate change has declared you can see that a lot of things are really happening but uh like me i have never seen all these things are happening maybe news i just read it like one time and i said ah oh, okay global climate change is going to happen there will be a global warming sea sinking co2 rising all those stuff but we don't really give a thought about it but once we read about it it's really scary to see that how bad we are affecting our motherly planet earth and how bad we are going to be affecting if we don't really take an action right now So the credits and further readings you can read this particular slides you can uh, go to this particular link and you can read even more so whatever i told right now is not any of my information i just read everything from these websites and i also read some of the sites videos and the videos from the uh, leaders who are talking about the climate changes and stuff and i just realized that it is something very very important i really wanted to share like I'm sharing about whatever I know on the automation testing but I also wanted to share something good because we all need to take the action right now to act because it's an accumulative action not just government can really do that but all the human beings or all the citizens of any country they are living should really really take action to make this not happen even any further once again thank you much for your time and thank you much for watching let's all protect our motherly planet earth catch you on next one